That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> we now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives, and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, <laughs> great! Wanted now, and the rewards 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? 
Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kubayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! G fuck! Ah! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey... What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? It's probably because... we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah... that really is it. I was... so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto... Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still... It's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. That's the same as dumping our aesthetics again, because we only care about our hides. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Yo!
Okay. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures, but their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once! Let us end this chaos! Through my hands and yours! He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before, but this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai -san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? 
Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested. Aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? Like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan... I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is... because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. 
Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Beats me. I hope it's just my imagination, though. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi Kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as Phantom Thieves would still be met with hostility. No. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus! Seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! Well, like her history with men. You're phantom thieves! Ahem. <clears throat> also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into.
so this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For... real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. But this should be a substantially forced operation. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? Oh. This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh. <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai-san in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. 
I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though. Whenever arrests are made for her cases. I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu... He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right? From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse.
Do you have a moment? Yes. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! Taste my wrath! Robin Hood! Your what? I'll use my persona! No holds barred! So, here he comes! Touch it. Yourself. Take this! 
Okay. Okay. 